Well, listen, we all know campaign season is full of promises. Inevitably, some of those promises get broken. But Democrats say their plan is really quite simple, to continue on the progress they say they've made. After the hugs and thank yous came the questions of how Democrats plan to use their increased political power. I don't want more taxes, but I don't mind more taxpayers. And I hope everybody got my message on that. And when I say more taxpayers, that means growth and opportunity. Governor Lamont elected to another four years. I got a call this morning from Bob Stefanowski congratulating us. Fox 61 learned that in that phone call, Republican Bob Stefanowski urged Lamont to reconsider the controversial police accountability bill signed into law in the wake of the George Floyd tragedy, which some say ties the hands of law enforcement to do their jobs effectively. Look, I'm happy to talk to the legislature about any ways we can fine tune this, but I think we don't want to demagogue this bill. Governor Lamont also suggested he wouldn't wait until a new legislative session in February to get to work. He's considering calling the General Assembly into special session to provide residents with extended relief before the state gas tax holiday expires at the end of the month. We're going to model this out, and if gas goes up 25 cents, so what does that mean we can do in terms of a gas tax cut? If it goes down, what do we need to do to make sure I have enough money to fix our roads and bridges? Election night saw Attorney General Tong and Senator Blumenthal reelected. Thank you to Connecticut. While new Democratic faces were elected to the offices of Secretary of the State, Comptroller, and Treasurer. Making sure that we are meeting our obligations to state and municipal employees. Both chambers of the state legislature remain under a Democratic majority. The bottom the line is, um, I think the people sent us uh, the message that they want bipartisanship. And Democrats also told me that they understand that the issue that's most on the mind of voters remains the economy, saying that they'll continue to work to control inflation, to rein in spending, and to produce balanced budgets without raising taxes. We're live here outside the state capitol in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.